Hello friends, Satish Tiwari here from Physical Hacking Research Center Jaipur and you guys are watching my YouTube channel Slashroot.in. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to set up MySQL server inside the Kali Linux. Okay, so we are just going to set up MySQL server inside Kali Linux. For that, let's log in. After login with the root and the password Red Hat, open the terminal. Okay, and you can make it, let's make it large so that we can see the ports okay so i am getting zoom in okay now the first step is to install the mysql package how to install the package up install mysql iphon y so this command will install the mysql package mysql has been already installed so no need to install now restart the service service mysql restart or you can simply do the start command start after i start you have to run the status command now you can see active and running mysql is active and running it's okay now so now mysql server is running let's see how to log in clear this screen and let's log in we already have a root user so we can log in with the root how you can log in mysql hyphen u username root enter and here it is we are login if you want help from database you just type slash h and it you will see the list of command which can be run inside this database if you want to see the database you just run the command show databases column and here is that list of database okay if you want to create database you can easily create database using create database command Suppose Satish, so it will create a database named Satish. You want to check, run show database again, and here it is. You can see new database Satish has been created. If you want to delete the database, you just simply put drop database Satish column. Okay, something wrong. Okay, drop database not database spelling is mis spelling mistake in database database okay and that database has been deleted how you can check run show databases command again and you can see success has been deleted from the database if you want to quit from here just simply run dash slash q and quit in this way you can configure mysql database and now you can do uh, brute force attack or mysql injection test on this database using different tools you have meta split framework you have mysql injection tool and we also have a hydra tool to check the mysql server security okay so we will see in the next class how to deploy uh, security modules on mysql server thank you thank you for watching if you like my video please like and share with your friends thank you